This is a remake of the previous 4.11 video I made because it had a problem on YouTube for some reason. So this is Grade 2 Math Chapter 4. We're talking about money and counting coins and dollar bills. When we need to count coins and bills, we count the bills first. Then we count the coins starting with the larger values. So there's a few things to remember that we've learned so far that two dimes and one nickel is equal to a quarter. We can count by 25s, 25, 50, 75, 100. So we can count quarters that way, can't we? And a half dollar is worth 50 cents. And remember, four quarters are equal to one dollar. So we might be able to regroup four quarters as one dollar bill, okay? We start with the bills, and then we count the coins starting with the larger values and count on. So here we have a $1 bill. We have a dime, a nickel, a penny, and another penny. So we start with the dollar bill. We have $1. We add the dime. That's 10 cents. We have $1.10. We add the nickel. That's 5 cents. Now we have $1.15. And we add the pennies. We have $1.16, $1.17, and our total is $1.17. Okay? Let's look at this one. We have two $1 bills. A quarter, another quarter, another quarter, and a penny. So we can skip count these by 25s, can't we? So we have $2, then we have $2.25, $2.50, $2.75, and that one penny makes it $2.76. You start with the bills, and then you count the larger value coins, and then you slowly get down to the pennies or the smaller coins. Okay? Let's try it again. Now we have three $1 bills. We have a half dollar, that's 50 cents. We have a quarter, that's 25 cents. We have a dime, that's 10 cents. And we have three pennies. That's three ones, isn't it? So we have $3, and with the half dollar, we have $3.50. Then with the quarter, we have $3.75, plus the dime is $3.85. And with the pennies, we have $3.86, $3.87, $3.88. And our total is $3.88. So if you've got some play money or you can get some paper and make some play money, you can just make some rectangles with ones or fives or tens on them for the different increments of bills. And you can get little square pieces even and write the values and pretend they're coins. They don't have to be round, okay? Or if you have a pile of change or some play money like this, grab piles of it, grab a handful, put it down in front of you and count them, come up with the total, put it back into the pile and grab another handful of an unknown amount so that you have to count them and keep practicing, okay? And you'll get good at it, all right? So that's counting coins and dollar bills. And I hope that this video turns out better than the last one I uploaded because the last one just kept freezing. I don't know what was wrong with it, all right? So you have a great day, and I'll see you next video. Bye.